हेलो एवरी वन आई एम सलोनी एंड वेलकम बैक टू कोडेरा सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस टेन टेक्निकल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द रेस्ट ऑफ द टेन क्वेश्चन विद द टिप्स टू आंसर दोज क्वेश्चन एंड इफ यू डेंट वॉच दैट प्रीवियस वीडियो सो गाइज प्लीज फर्स्ट वॉच दैट वीडियो अदरवाइज यू विल मिस अ लॉट ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड द लिंक फॉर दैट वीडियो इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो अवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज मेथड ओवरलोडिंग एंड मेथड ओवर राइडिंग सो गाइज दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग कंसेप्ट इन जावा सो दिस मेथड ओवर लोडिंग एंड मेथड ओवर राइडिंग आर द टू टाइप्स टू अचीव पॉलीमोर्फिजम इन जावा सो इफ अ क्लास हैज मल्टीपल मैथड्स हैविंग सेम मेथड नेम बट डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स देन इट इज कॉल्ड मैथड ओवर लोडिंग एंड If a class has the same method as declared in the parent class then it is called method overriding So after giving these two definitions you can tell the interviewer some examples to explain these two definition more precisely And guys please prepare these two topics very well because many times interviewer confuse us with the tricky question based on this two concept So that's how you can prepare this question So now our next question is what are the differences between C++ and Java So guys both are the object oriented programming language but they have some differences too So to answer this question you can point out the differences based on some parameters Like on the basis of platform dependency C++ is platform dependent while Java is not platform dependent and on the basis of multiple inheritance C++ support multiple inheritance while java does not support multiple inheritance but in java we can achieve it through the interface concept and you can also mention that C++ is mainly used for system programming while java is mainly used for application programming like for the developing web and mobile application so this is how you can answer this question so our next question is what is the difference between abstract class and interface in java so guys these are very important topic of core java and many time interviewer try to puzzle the candidate between these two topics so please be prepared for that so first give the brief definition of abstract class and interface and then mention the differences between these two concept and also mention in which condition we should use which concept with the real life example and one more important point is that in industry developers are working in java 8 and 11 and as a student we starts with 7 or 8 but i suggest you while giving the answer you should point out some additional new features about the topic from the newer or latest version so this will impress the interviewer that you are also aware of the new features For example in java 7 we can't have static method in interface while in java 8 we can create static method in interface so this is how you can answer this question now our next question is what is friend function and friend class so if you are from c c++ background then the interviewer may ask you this question and it is also important question so if we talk about the friend class then you can say a friend class can access private and protected member of other class in which it is declared as friend so friend class is useful if we want to allow a specific class to access private member of other class and if we talk about the friend function then it is also like a friend class so if a function is defined as friend function then the protected and private data of a class can be accessed using that friend function and to create a friend class and friend function we have to use friend keyword so in this way you can define friend function and friend class now let's move towards our next question that is what are the pointer in c++ so the pointer in c++ is like a variable which is used to store the address of a value pointer are also known as indicator or locator so after giving this definition you can mention some advantages of the pointer so you can say like with the help of pointer we can return multiple values from a function and pointer help to reduce the code and it also enhance the performance of the application 
and after the advantages mentioned some uh, some uses like you can say we use pointer for dynamic memory allocation and so on and the interviewer can also ask you to write a code based on the pointer so i would suggest you to be prepared with the syntaxes so in this way you can answer this question so guys our next question is what is normalization and its type so this question is from the database management system so you can start answering with the definition of the normalization so you can say normalization is a process of organizing the data in a database and normalization is used to reduce the duplicacy of the data from a relation or a set of relation and if we talk about the type of the normalization then there are four major type of normal form which is 1nf 2nf 3nf and bcnf so here you have to give brief definition of all these four type of normal form and i have already created a video on normalization and its type in detail so you can also watch that video and the link for the video is in the description box now our next question is what is the difference between drop and delete so delete and drop these are the two commands in sql so we use drop when we have to delete the complete table or the relation along with the data and also we can't roll back the drop the table while we use delete when we have to delete only the data from the table not the structure or schema of the table and we can also roll back the deleted data so these are the basic differences between delete and drop and the next question is what is the difference between truncate and delete so with the help of truncate we can delete all the data from a table in once and we can't use where clause with the truncate while with the help of delete we can also filter the data before the deletion and guys i have already created a video in which i have explained the difference between delete drop and truncate with the examples so please i would suggest you to watch that video and i will provide the link for the video in the description so now our next question is how to delete a table in a sql so guys here delete a table means the complete table not only the data so here we have to delete schema along with the data so query to delete a table is drop table and then the table name so suppose your table name is employee so the query will be drop table employee and this query will work in mysql oracle and in sql server also so this is the query to delete a table from a database now our last question is what is the differences between array and linked list so basically array and linked list are the two ways to organize or store the data in a memory but they have some differences too like array stores the element in a contiguous memory location while linked list stores the element randomly in the memory and in array memory is allocated at the compile time because we predefined the size of the array while in linked list memory is allocated at the run time so it can store the data dynamically and one important difference is that array is a collection of similar type of data while linked list is a collection of object known as nodes and the node has two part that is data and the address so these are some important differences you can mention in your interview so guys that's all about today's video and all the very best for your interview i hope this video will help you in your preparation so keep watching codera and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching